I spoke to the president this morning of South Korea. He gives us tremendous credit. I remember, you know, it was very rough three, four months ago. <laughs> no bell, they're saying, as President Trump touted progress in North Korea at a rally in Michigan over this weekend. His supporters started chanting, no bell, no bell, as in the Peace Prize. And they're not the only ones who think the president should get that. A group of Republican lawmakers have formally nominated him for the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize. Indiana Congressman Luke Messer is leading the effort. He's also the chairman of the House Republican Policy Committee and a candidate for U.S. Senate in Indiana. He joins us live right now from Indianapolis. Luke, good morning to you. Hey, Steve. Great to be on. Why do you think the president of the United States should get the Nobel Peace Prize? You know, listen, events in, in on the Korean Peninsula, the, the leader of North Korea and the leader of South Korea coming together would have been unimaginable just a few weeks ago. Frankly, the response from many in the media has been muted. And I think President Trump is showing that peace through strength is working. And the only reason that the evil dictator from North Korea is coming to the table is because this president has stared him down. And as peace comes to the Korean Peninsula, I do believe President Trump deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. And Chairman, it does look as if there are tangible uh, results that he's getting sure. things done, because not only will the uh, location of the summit and the time be released shortly, but the news this morning, our lead story is the fact that it sounds like the North Koreans are about to release those three Americans just to show that yeah. they want to wheel and deal with this president. Well, absolutely. And as the president has said, listen, we're a long way away. This North Korean leader is a ruthless guy who has lied to people before. But there are tangible steps already happening. And you have both leaders talking about a united uh, Korea, talking about ending those nuclear programs. The, the North Korean leader has already ended his testing program. There are major steps happening. And again, the only reason it's happening is because of this president's strong leadership. Frankly, the South <coughs> Korean president has even said as much. And, you know, you can't help as you watch all this just wonder, how do you think folks on the left would be responding right now if this was happening? under President Obama's leadership. I mean, they would be melting with joy. Sure. Uh, instead, uh, they're, of course, kind of uh, saying, well, let's wait and see. Well, I, I think that we do want to wait and see, and there's a right. lot more to get done. But what's happened already is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, President Obama got the Nobel Peace Prize before he actually did anything, <laughs> at least with President Trump. He's getting some, he's getting some numbers up on the board. Well, yeah, President Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize for a little more than running a glamorous campaign. And I'll tell you, the critics on the left of this president's policies towards North Korea have been withering. As you mentioned, I'm running for the United States Senate in Indiana right. against a guy named Joe Donnelly, who spent much of the last year and a half criticizing President Trump for his Twitter diplomacy and the strong posture he's taken towards North Korea. And what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing these extraordinary results. But it's not just North Korea, by the way. It's, right. you got ISIS on the run. The economy's going great. Listen, there's a lot going on under this president's leadership. All right. Uh, he's running for the U.S. Senate out of Indiana. He's got a big primary on Tuesday. Uh, Luke Messer, thank you very much for joining us live from Indianapolis. Uh, 